So just as in the first chapters of Genesis, where God places a great light in the heavens to nourish and govern us, he also places that great light inside each and every one of us. This light comes to us in the form of photons, which hold information language that communicates and instructs our DNA so that we know how to build our temple. There are actually billions of light particles that are responsible for the construction and makeup of our DNA, just as there are billions of light particles in the heavens that we call stars. From the throne of stellar fire, he cast the word, not into scrolls, but into light, and the light became form, and the form remembered. All of the elements that make up life on Earth, and even the Earth itself, originated from cosmic processes. The idea that we are essentially made of stardust is both poetic and scientifically true. One singular, overwhelming divine light pulses at the center, hyperreal, not symbolic. It radiates with a frequency that feels ancient and intelligent, infinite light flowing into creation. DNA photons as language, the idea that photons instruct our DNA, aligns with emerging theories in biophysics and quantum biology, where light influences cellular communication and gene expression. It also mirrors mystical traditions where divine speech, which the Hebrews called davar, or the breath, the sacred ru-oct, which of course animates all forms, 